Welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Tera, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hirozan, how are you today? Hey, very good. And good afternoon. Good afternoon. So tell me, Hiro, we have a long awaited recipe for everybody. Mm. They've been sending messages and emails and yes. through every type of social media. Mm. And of course, in the comment section below, they want to know how to make the teriyaki sauce. Yes. So interesting thing that I didn't even know today, but of course, like anything else, all types of sauces have more than one variation. Mm. And for you, Hiro, how many types of teriyaki sauce do you have? I have a couple, a uh, few of the recipe. Uh, uh, so for, for five About five different ones? I mm -hmm. made the before. Okay. Yeah, and then of course, as you know, the, each restaurant has a different, different recipe sure. too. And uh, same as like a barbecue sauce, you know, each family or restaurant, all different mix. Uh, so today I have, a, I'm going to do uh, easiest one. Okay, let's start with the easiest one and then eventually right. get up to the most yeah, then I difficult one. I'm going to do a different type of that uh, a technique. Okay. Uh, some little bit of different ingredients I'm going to add into. So today, you can, you can see here and uh, all the ingredients here. Okay, what are the ingredients? Uh, so of course, soy sauce. Okay. And then here's a meeting. And then and the sugar. Okay. And then this is the honey. And uh, I'm going to add to the garlic and the ginger. Okay. Some of that without this one. And then there's some of the actually making thickness with the cornstarch. Okay. And also I have another recipe actually, I use that a lot of the chicken bones. And uh, some other recipes I'm gonna add to the little bit of miso, miso, uh, miso paste. Okay. Or some recipe I'm gonna add to the little bit of chili. So, and a different type of the tamari sauce or regular soy sauce. Uh, so many different mix, the combination. Sure. Uh, teriyaki. But today's one is I'm going to uh, uh, make a very, very easiest one in the pretty much basic. And then the thickness, I'm gonna make in the sugar and the honey in the natural way to make it reduce. So I'm gonna use a cornstarch today. Okay. The recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show us the first step, Hiro. Okay. What do we have? So first step, I'm going to uh, cut uh, ginger and a garlic to make it smoother. Okay. So this ginger actually I wash already. So actually you can you don't need to take off the skin out if you wash it very clean. Just wash it good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do just the garlic to uh, put it down. Even you don't need to cut it way too too small. Just cut it to it. Small like that. And because of that, after that, I'm going to anyway uh, strain out everything. Okay. So you don't need to be cut way too small. Yeah. So how much? Are we gonna make today? What's the amount? Total? Uh, soy sauce is actually here is a 32 ounces right here. Okay. Medium 32, and then this is a, a 16 and eight, and then eight ounces of uh, honey there. So ginger and garlic is it's really really um, it's up to up to you. Depending on the flavor, so, how much you want. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you wanna make it more more, uh, how do you say? You can add more more garlic. Uh, garlic in of course, you can you can you can add it too. Today, I think this is enough too. Okay. And uh, uh, garlic. Of course, you can do a grind it too. Okay. Mm. Well, just cut into just a little bit smaller, like that. Even the garlic with the how they call that uh, smashing with the kind of with the, the, the cold clove. Yeah, just yes. cut into the cut into the half. Right. That's it. You can put in the okay. top too. That was okay. How about smashing? Can you smash it? Yeah, smashing well? is smashing is okay too. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 it's more faster way, fast, fastest, fastest way. Yeah, that's fine. I don't see any onions. Do people use onion? I guess in some recipes they do. Yes, actually I have. That's why another recipe I do. Uh, as like a uh, chicken stock. Okay. I do the chicken bones and the uh, onions and carrots, uh, that kind of stuff. You know. Then after boiling about hour and a half to two hours. Then after I went to start adding the soy sauce and meeting or another ingredients. So this is another type of the recipe. 
I can't wait to see that one. The most yeah, we're complicated. Gonna do, one. Um, in future, we're gonna do a uh, different recipe, one by one. Garlic ginger is always a nice combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we use a lot of that as a video. Soy sauce, ginger, and garlic combination. Okay, that's, that's, that's enough. I okay. Yeah, that's it. So out of the eight ounces you have, I don't know. And then the ginger garlic. About okay. half left. So uh, all the ingredients are basically put in the pot and then uh, start boiling and then slow heat and I'll reduce about probably take uh, 45 to an hour. Okay, and how much do you add water in here? No, 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 I don't want to uh, add in any water. No water, okay. Oh, this, 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 this. oh really, okay. So go into the um, chicken, chicken bones and the vegetable one, I'm gonna make it faster chicken stock. Sure. Uh, then reduce. Okay. So that's another recipe. Got it. Okay, so okay. today's one is very easy. So first I'm going to uh, start to add the mirin. Okay. So we have 32 ounces of mirin. Mirin here. And then, fayon. And then wait until boiling, start boiling. And also so. some recipe actually do uh, 32 ounces or whatever, you know, one by one. Mirin and sake. I just use a meeting for today. Okay. Uh, one by one. Uh, it's all depend on the you know, different recipes. Yes. So which one is actually your flavor? Maybe this this recipe might you don't like it. Maybe another recipe. Try the next one. You. Okay. Another one better for you. So I'm not gonna judge which one's the best, which one's not. not this good. is the most basic and easiest. So one. yeah. So you can you can uh, modify. Okay. So. All right. So wait until the boiling. Then after once it starts boiling, I'm gonna put the fire on it and then take out of the alcohol. Then Got it. I'm gonna add another uh, ingredients. Okay. You can see, getting uh, boiling. I'm gonna put a little bit slow, slow heat and then that I'm gonna put the fire on. Should be fire on. Maybe not. Maybe not again. You can see the little bit of fire coming out here, but it's not much alcohol, looks like. So you should pay how much do you burn off? Ah, oh, usually more fire is coming, but right. this, this one not, not so much. So you basically just want to burn the edge, look for the alcohol? No, actually when you the put the fire on it. The whole thing comes up. It's up. Oh, fire. I see. Got it. This one, so this could be kind of dangerous at home to do? <laughs> not really dangerous, but uh, don't scare about, you know, okay. any alcohol actually. Want to burn, basically burn yeah, the alcohol wine, you, know, al you know, the sake. Okay. Yeah, um, so once it comes to a boil, use a Yeah, I torch. was expecting more fire coming on, but yeah. it's not really, not much. Oh, it's not all. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so after that, I'm going to add the soy sauce. Okay. Also, 32 ounces of soy sauce. Does it matter what kind of soy sauce, Hero? Uh, I just use the regular soy sauce. Okay. Yeah, regular kikoma soy sauce. Okay. And wait till it boils again? Yeah, wait until it boils again. Well, I'm going to add to the uh, sugar. So, 24 ounces of sugar? Yes. And uh, honey. Eight ounces of honey, okay. And you basically stir it. Yeah, this is see a little bit. You have to stir it so the sugar doesn't burn on the bottom and the honey mixes? Uh, if you keep a uh, uh, fire strong and then it's gonna burn out. Okay. It's gonna start burning, so. Because the honey is now stuck in the, in the bottom. Check so you it. need to stir it a little bit and then okay. it's fast melting. Got it. Out. So after that, I'm gonna add uh, ginger and garlic. Okay. 
tea or all in the ingredients right there. So once it starts to start boiling, I'm gonna uh, a little bit of heat it down and then slowly keep boiling. Okay. To reduce. That's it. Very simple. How long do you let it reduce for? Uh, probably 30 to 45 minutes. Wow, long time. But okay. you, have to, uh, you have to watch it. You can let them just hit and then you have to already watch it. Keep because, watching it. Because I, 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 uh, you will see everything is coming always, coming up. Right. So you need to a little bit of control. Okay. You can see, start bubbling, and then you need to heat a little bit, slow down. Because if you keep uh, high heat, this one actually coming out. Gonna go and then it starts burning everything, you're gonna mess up. So you need to do the heat, heat to that. How do you know when you're done reducing it? Ah, of course you can, you can check. You have to check. Very thick, huh? You, you can put them uh, whatever, you know, a dish or something. Then they do it with cooling down. Then you can see it go like this. Okay. I'll take all you want. It's all up to you, actually. Can you uh, show the audience right now here, or so maybe right get a plate? What is it right now? And sure, sure. I'm going to show how you want it later on. Example, I just keep the uh, dish. This is just uh, even not a 10 minutes, I mean, just not nothing, nothing yet. So this guy is still very watery. Okay. Very watery. Okay. But pretty much like that. Okay. But I, I, I want to reduce more. Okay, perfect. If you have a cooling fan, it's very easy. <laughs> oh, here, where did you get this recipe from? Hmm? This one, actually, in Japan, I made it the same way. The same exact way, huh? Meeting and soy sauce and sugar. Okay. And the same ratios? Same ratios. Okay. That's great to know. People want the authentic one. Mm. And the number five teriyaki sauce, what did you learn? That was also in Japan? Uh, some of it actually I, I did modify myself. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. Oh, yeah. So now you can see how thick it is now. Let's see. Maybe slow down a little bit. Okay, let's see. It's almost, uh, how long already? 25 minutes things to start boiling. So let's see the second, second. Not the thickness right now. So now this much. It's not much different. Maybe not much different. That's all I'm sure. Okay. But now we can see it's going to stay. Nice to hear. So I don't know if you use it more. Okay. Another 15 minutes. Let's see how thick it is. Another up to 10, 15 minutes after. Let's, let's see. Like this. Yeah, I can see it thick already. Yeah. Well, the, the reason why it's running is because there's a lot that you put yeah, on there. Uh, but it's uh, pretty thick. Uh, now? Yeah, pretty thick. And that's from reducing it, just from yeah. the heat. And of course, if you like to more more reduce, you can you can get more re reduced. Okay. okay. So now uh, uh, off the heat, and then uh, I keep a little bit of simmer down, and after stirring up, that's it. Okay. It's still a little bit hot, so the sauce is kind of uh, watery. But once it gets to cooling down completely, mm -hmm. it's getting thicker. It's gonna get thicker, sure. Yeah. Okay, after that's right now, you can keep it into the container. Then okay. you can keep it in the uh, cooler. And then how long will it last? Uh, this one actually you can keep uh, three weeks, one month. Three weeks much you, you can keep it longer. Okay. But uh, like I said, I have another recipe with a chicken bone one. That's it's not gonna stay longer. Yes, because it's got the uh, protein, maybe more natural fiber. protein. All right. Okay, Hiro. Right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. See you all very soon. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe.
See you very, very soon. Mm -hmm.